So yesterday's hunt was pretty incredible. In fact, I don't even know if we could ever top that. We ended up getting a giant 290 scoring diamond whitetail buck and a huge rare fur variant of a blonde diamond black bear with a bow, all in one hunt. But, but, but what I didn't tell you is the day before when I hunted all night long for a black bear and I didn't even find a mythical, well, it wasn't a complete bust because I found something that I haven't seen in, I guess like almost three years as well because when Call of the Wild first came out, I did get one of these, but obviously it was way before the Trophy Lodges came out. So anyways, I'm gonna have to show you that today. You know, that's actually not a bad sized whitetail buck coming this way. We're sitting up here in a tree stand, kind of on this railroad track here, and that buck is coming in with about two or three different does. I don't know if there's any other bucks coming behind, so I kind of want to be a little bit patient, but that is a cinnamon black bear walking past us at about 60 yards out, so that's pretty cool as well. Um, we're still holding off to wait and maybe see if there is another big buck somewhere in the area. But at this point, I do believe that these two are the only ones in this area. It'd be kind of cool if that was a big old male, but yesterday we got a diamond so we can't be too greedy now, can we? So I believe this is the second buck here and I think we're going to take him down as soon as he steps out. Yeah, he's about 30 out. That will definitely work. Wait till he steps out past this tree. I believe he's the only other big buck in the area. If he's going to hold up there at about 30 out. They're in for 27. Go for a heart shot and smoked him. I think the other buck was like right over there, so I don't know if he would have spooked from that. But he's gonna score 198 and double lung at 29 yards out. Very nice. Actually hit right behind the heart there, but perfect shot on that nice white tail buck. But I do believe that's the biggest buck out there. So we might try and go for him at like 440 yards out, depending on if he stops or slows down. No, we can't take that. Well, it's not exactly a whitetail buck, but we have a couple of black bear coming this way. And this one is, yeah, it's a decent six. So it looks like we're gonna be going for a black bear first. I mean, the whitetail shouldn't be too far behind. I just changed the time back to 12.30 in the morning. Actually, I started at 12.20, gave us a little bit of time to get in the tripod, set up and wait for these bucks to come back. So hopefully they'll come in about uh, maybe like 20, 25 minutes. But this black bear is approaching being in range. He's about 60 out right there going behind this hill. So when he comes past here, he should be about 70 yards out on this guy. Wasn't trying to grab that. I don't want to spook anything, so. Ooh, that looked good. We're using the 420, so he's not going to drop. But he really shouldn't. Oh, wow. He piled up already. Must have been like double lung liver because with the 420s, usually they run uh, at least like 100 yards. Well, that ended up being a double lung liver at 80 yards out on the walk. He scored 19.0, so not quite big enough to be a gold, but let's take a look. Wow, very nice. That's going to be a pretty good ways out there. 330 yards, but he is perfectly broadside, so I feel pretty confident. And we held for the heart, but that should have gotten... Yeah, he's down. Yep, right, lung 178 on him. Okay, I just found a massive buck in here, but I can't quite tell how big it is. All I can see is the rack is sticking up over the top of this grass. He's somewhere right about there. All right, I'm pretty sure that that's him. 209 to 260 on the estimate, which is... That's a real good buck. You can definitely see that that should be the biggest buck here. Yeah, that's going to be him there when he steps out. About 180 out. That's going to be him. 209 to 269 on the estimate on that buck. So let's go for him. It's about 180 out. And got him. Any other big bucks? There's a lot of deer in there. Wow, there's a lot of deer. 186 yard left lung. He scored 239 gold. Leaf. Okay, I'm pretty sure that that's him there. I don't want to take the wrong one, but... I don't really have time to spot it. That was a 187 scoring. We got double lung at 244. Some might see this as a very small coyote, but I see it as an opportunity to get a bunch of cash. 
And by that, I mean 970 cash. I ended up getting a skull and brain shot on that guy at 251 yards out. Wow. I mean, I knew we'd be a little bit high, but honestly, <laughs> that was kind of like a perfect shot. All right, I'm pretty sure that that should be him right there, although it's really hard to tell. The guy in the back looks like it has more mass, but this one here looks like he's wider. That one there could potentially be him too. I mean, that's probably one of the biggest ones that we can see right now. I don't see the biggest, biggest one. So I think we might just go for this buck right here. Is that the right one? Yeah, that's him. Dropped him. So this should be one of the bigger ones. And he ended up weighing 195, 238 score. Well, I'm pretty sure we just found what could potentially be a diamond. 235 on the minimum to 300. That thing could potentially score like a 278. We never know. That actually worked out pretty decent. He's still quartering at us, but he's about 170 out. We're a little bit higher up this time. And we're gonna be able to try and take a heart shot on this buck. I think we might have, uh, that's not him, that's a different buck. Big buck, big buck, big buck. That's gonna be intestine, but it should take him down. I, I had a feeling he might be close to a 270s. But 265, double lung heart shot, and I couldn't even hardly see the thing. <laughs> this buck was pretty big as well, 264 on him, and yeah, I figured we hit just a little bit too far back. But that's all right. Now, we just got some really awesome whitetail bucks. There's some beautiful bucks, don't get me wrong. But they're nothing compared to what I'm about to show you. So I just jumped up a bunch of whitetails and I wanted to go over and see if anything was big there. Well, I picked up this. And that's a piebald. Not only is it a piebald, but it's a max weight piebald whitetail buck. And I'm pretty sure we just found him. Now we just gotta find the one that we're looking for. Actually, I don't see him here. Well, I was just about ready to move because I didn't see him, but all of a sudden I just spotted him. He's on the bottom of this hill. So we're trying to call him and see if he doesn't turn back around. There he is. Look at that. A huge pie bulb. White tail buck. He's about 50 yards away. And I think we're going to try and take him down with the bow. I'd like to get a little bit closer. Move, 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 move. If this buck would just step forward a little bit, we could definitely take it. But at this angle, I can't take it with this buck there. Come on. This might be our chance. 43 yards out. That's him. Perfect shot. He's down. Well, guys, here he is. And I've been waiting almost two years to get a piebald buck like this. I actually got one when Call of the Wild first came out, but we didn't have trophy lodges then. And there wasn't Truex then. And I can't believe we finally found one. I think we'll try and take one picture. And that should be good enough for now. Let's just pick him up. 262 piebald white tail buck. Oh my god. That's massive. That, that's definitely one of the coolest rare white tail bucks I've ever gotten in Call of the Wild. Oh my god. I ended up making a 42 yard left lung liver with the bow. 262. Piebald. So a lot of you guys are probably wondering where we just got that huge piebald whitetail buck. Well, I'm going to show you right now. It's actually just to the south of Chila Outpost, which is right here we're at this kind of two lakes right here and i've gotten two or three different diamond white tails here as well but where i kicked up that piebald white tail buck is actually i picked up his track first right here there's a zone from 12 until 15 30 
And then I ended up taking him down right here, right between these two little lakes, right exactly at this point. I believe it was like 1400 in the afternoon. Okay, so right after this happened, I ended up finding a really huge coyote. And you know what? I thought I've never gotten a big coyote, well, anything bigger than a seven very hard with the bow. So in this case, when I saw this thing, I thought we're gonna try and take him down with the bow. And another thing, it was starting to get pretty warm out. Where I live, it gets warm out sometimes. And when it gets warm out, I kind of dress to the weather. So when it gets warm out, I probably wear a tank top. If it gets a little bit cooler, then I can wear a shirt. If it gets really cold, I'll wear a sweatshirt. You know, it's kind of like this. In Florida, it's like 90 degrees out and humid. Would you wear a long sleeve shirt to the beach? Probably not. You're going to be really uncomfortable. And that's kind of the same thing that I feel here. But anyways, let me show you this really cool huge coyote that's a giant coyote about to walk right past us and we have the bow it's going to be pretty incredible if we can make this happen it's a giant coyote it's a huge mythical come on <gasps> smoked him you know that actually looks pretty cool Let's find out how he did. He's going to score 53.8 and we got a left lung at nine yards away. Wow, that's a giant. 56 is diamond, so he's only about three points off from being a diamond. Well, welcome back to our trophy lodge. And this right here is our huge piebald whitetail buck that we got with the bow. And he's a gold. Wow, that really is something, isn't it? You know what? I was talking to you guys a little bit before about the piebald whitetail that I got when Call of the Wild first came out. In fact, if you watch some of my old videos, you probably would have seen that buck in the intro. I think it scored like 900 and... Uh, no, not 900. It probably was like an 830s or something like that because it was bigger than an 800 and 800 was gold. But anyways, I did get one. But this thing, it really is pretty incredible. 262.2 piebald whitetail buck a super rare whitetail right there and we got him with the bow this guy here is no piece of cake either this thing was an incredible mythical coyote and the fact that we got him with the bow that was pretty cool 53.8 55.6 i believe is diamond so he wasn't too far off and he is up until today my biggest coyote that i've ever gotten with the bow. If I ever see a nine legendary coyote, you can guarantee you one thing. I'm gonna try and take him down with the bow. Oh, you know what else I just realized? I never showed you guys this before. This is our huge 290 diamond white tail buck that we got with the M1. 291.1, that's a level two diamond white tail. Now, a lot of people are asking, how can a level two be a diamond? Well, this whole thing became new ever since Animal Scoring 2.0 came out. And for instance, a four, no, actually like a four easy bull moose could potentially be even a bigger diamond than a five. I think it's moose, um, possibly even elk. I'm not sure, but for sure moose and whitetail. A level two whitetail could be a diamond and a level four moose could be a diamond if it has a big enough rack. But this guy here was massive. But overall, I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a really good time hunting in that awesome spot for whitetails. And who knows, maybe you might find something special in that same spot. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Okay, I suppose I'll give you a little better view of this buck. Because he is very special. And you know what? This side here is probably the coolest side. Because he's almost three quarters white right there.